everything you always wanted to know about Engelbert Humperdinck, but were afraid to ask. We will now take questions from the floor. What is an Engelbert Humperdinck? Well, Webster defines an Engelbert Humperdinck as an Ephraim Zimbalist with a silicone injection. <laughs> is there only one Engelbert Humperdinck? No. Engelbert Humperdinck also happens to be the call letters of a Czechoslovakian radio station. What <laughs> does an Engelbert Humperdinck? Well, only his hairdresser knows for sure. How do you use an Engelbert Humperdinck? As a brassiere for a camel. Is Engelbert Humperdinck permissible? Well, is Engelbert Humperdinck permissible? Yes, but not on the first date. time to spell it out now. This is only an hour show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my very good buddy, Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> I met a girl who told me she's a dancer. The prettiest girl I've ever seen before I went to the theater to see her What a shock As I came stumbling down the aisle With every bump, bump, bumpity bump My heart started bumping too Every night you see me in the front row seat Cheering with the rest of them stomping my feet I knew I met a girl who made my life complete With a bump the girl for me They wished us both a happy life And that's when I made this gal my wife Now when I get home each night about five She's got that radio on Starts moving all around the kitchen floor The neighbors breathing in and screaming more, 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 more They asked if I saw tickets at my Just fine. Uh, it's a real treat having you on my show. Thank you, Dean. Thank you so much. Mm. You know, ever since I got into show business, there's one singer I've always wanted to work with. Mm. That's right. That's why being here right now is, um, means an awful lot to me. It does? Sure. If, if, if Andy's watching tonight, maybe he'll invite me on his show. <laughs> For several generations now, America has had Three very able singers here who haven't done too bad. The critics and the public all agree. There's Crosby, Sinatra, and me. Well, that's very good company. But you're no slouch yourself. Now tell me, how did you get started singing? 
Well, my mother gave me singing lessons every afternoon. She said, uh, you may not be Italian, but at least you sing in tune. When it comes to real singers, there are three. Crosby, Sinatra, and me. Well, as a matter of fact, she always included me, but then she is my mother. Yeah. I learned the songs that made you famous from Hollywood to Rome. Like Volati, that's Amore. And my old Kentucky home. Oh, that was one of Frank's. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I hope I can get up in that group someday. It seems like you three have always been in the hit listing, the past 40. I mean, the top 40. <laughs> well, someday everybody's gonna know that I exist. I could spell your name, I'd gladly add you to the list. And there it lights on every big marquee. There'll be Crosby, Sinatra, and me. What happened to me? Just listen to this. I'll never smile again. Hey, you do it better than he does. Thank you. I'm dreaming of a wife. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Everybody loves somebody's son. Well, now you're getting into a little trouble, I tell you. Please release me, let me go. Even our chances may be very, very slim. We could be just as sexy as Tom Jones or Tiny Tim. No matter what, there's always gonna be. Must be Sinatra. Goodness, this is it, Dean! Dean, hinky, dinky, donkey, come over here! Come here, listen to this. Look at this. This this fountain here. You know what this is? This is the fountain of wishes. The most famous fountain in the world. Oh yeah, I've heard about this. You throw a coin in and any wish is granted, right? Just throw it in. No kidding. Yeah! I didn't know that. Three coins in a fountain. <laughs> for today.